Hi guys and welcome back to another What's Joined My Collection video. Um, so this one's for the month of June, a little bit late uh, than expected. But um, yeah, we're just going to jump straight into it guys because June has been another absolutely bumper month. So what we're going to do is start straight up with the premium editions that have arrived. So first of all, one of my favourite movies as a child, The Never Ending Story, Wolfgang Peterson's absolute fairy tale masterpiece. Um, this short circuit, Goonies, absolutely loved them as a child. So to find this edition um, released on Blu-ray from Korea was an absolute score. So very happy that this has got a release. And uh, yeah, the day it arrived, I, uh, I watched it that evening just to relive some old childhood memories. And um, just as just as amazing as I remember it to be. I had just as much fun watching it. Um, so this uh, edition does come with some art cards and also a photo booklet as well, which is very cool. So this is now the nicest never-ending story edition um, that I own. do have um, my old VHS dating back uh, many, many years. So very, very happy to, to get this edition on blue. So that starts off the video. Uh, next up, is King Kong. So this 4K edition of Peter Jackson's King Kong comes from Everything Blue, one of the UK premium companies, and this is part of their Blue Pack series, which they started a few months ago with Schindler's List. Um, so this has unfortunately also sold out, um, fortunate for them, and they were planning on doing uh, Pitch Black, Vin Diesel's Pitch Black, as their third Blue Pack but um, I think that one has now since been scrapped and on their s plan for release next is uh, Scorsese's Casino. So honestly, I am a lot happier to think that Casino is going to get this sort of treatment over Pitch Black. So that was, um, that was a nice surprise. So I haven't opened this steelbook yet, but I have also already watched King Kong in 4K. Um, but the artwork, again, from these guys is just absolutely beautiful on the uh, the full slip, the custom slip that they make. I'm not quite sure if the light can pick it up, but the embossing on this sleeve is absolutely insane. And it spreads all the way around to the side of the slip, all the way around to the back underneath the insert and along the top as well. It's just completely covered and it just looks absolutely stunning when you're holding it and shining it in the light. So very, very nice addition from them. And as usual, same with Schindler's List. It did come with a whole bunch of memorabilia and swag. So many cool items in here. As you can see, there's a, a patch there and there's a, a cloth map. There's photo cards as well in this King Kong. I won't get them all out now, guys, because we do have a lot to go through. But the time and the effort that these guys put into their releases is just absolutely stunning. So I'm always happy to receive an addition from Everything Blue. I think those guys uh, do amazing work. So yeah, King Kong, great movie. Um, I did enjoy. I know some people don't really like Peter Jackson's take on it, but uh, I find it very good. And next up is the original Jumanji. So fitting that this arrives on the same week that they released the trailer for the next level. Um, this is an absolute classic, another childhood favourite of mine. I think a lot of people do do love this movie. It was so imaginative when it came out. And this lenticular cover on the front of this box is just absolutely stunning. The depth in it is just absolutely beautiful. And it just looks like a, almost like a painting, like a drawing um, of the, uh, the, the artwork. It's just beautiful. So on the back there, we've got the classic board game, which is very cool. And inside it's the 4K steelbook of Jumanji. I think this one was released worldwide, this artwork. I think you could get this one from places like Best Buy in America, maybe Zavi as well, I'm not too sure. Uh, typical with all these premium releases, it also came with uh, art cards and um, booklet as well. But for the lenticular cover alone, I've never seen that artwork released before on a version of Jumanji, and I think it's one of the nicest lenticulars um, that I've ever seen. In hand, it's just so deep, and it just looks incredible. So really awesome that that movie gets such cool treatment. It's uh, it's not often you find older releases get the premium work like that. So uh, HD Zeta, uh, hats off to them. Um, also picked up Rampage along with Jumanji, so I bought these two together also from HD Zeta. Again, fantastic lenticular on the front, the depth of the rock, and then the three creatures from the, the game slash movie. Um, looks very, very cool in hand. 
And then on the back again, we've got artwork. I think that might have been released on Steelbook in Japan. Maybe I'm not too sure, but it is very cool artwork. And again, it's uh, slightly embossed, so it does slide. Uh, shine in the light which is very cool and it's also the 3d steelbook in this one so it's not the 4k but i did already have the movie in 4k with a different steelbook from jb hi-fi here in australia so it's nice to pick up this edition because it did come with the 3d version and in a different artwork steelbook as well so um not everyone's favorite movie it is a, a dumb popcorn movie i do remember playing the game and um, when i was younger one of the games so i had fun watching it it's not uh, it's not going to win any awards but if you switch your brain off for an hour and a half it uh, i think it makes for some good entertainment like a lot of rock movies do um, next up from nova media is this absolutely awesome kick-ass edition so fingers crossed they do number two as well because it'd be nice to have both of them together and um, this is the one click box limited to only 300 in the world so this one was number two no sorry number 42 um, and yeah this one has all three editions um that they created for the movie so if we open it up it's got artwork spanning the entire sort of inside of the box which is very cool and then there we've got the three full slips and so if I just gently, if I can, slide them out. Okay, so first of all, kick-ass, lenticular. Doesn't move as much as a lot of other transitional lentis, but it is very cool where it just keeps switching between the full mask and then almost like the, uh, the paint has just uh, sort of melted away, which is very cool. And they've done the same for the second lenticular full slip, which was for Hit Girl. So they've done the same thing. So having both of those two together, hopefully the camera can pick that up. Yeah, they look fantastic together when they're on the wall, on my premium display wall, when you're walking past them and the transitional lenty starts to change as you're walking past, it looks very, very cool. So yeah, very awesome. And then the third edition in there was this very colorful, very shiny full slip edition. So absolutely beautiful. Uh, when they originally announced this release, I was just interested in picking up maybe just one of these, um, but I'm glad I did get the one click for all three because I don't think I could have picked which one I wanted the most. I think the artwork on them all is very cool. And it comes with their own custom steelbook as well. So you can't get this steelbook anywhere else in the world other than Nova Media um, for this release so it is very nice as well very cool so yeah fingers crossed they do hit um kick ass 2 as well and uh, because it'd be nice to have them both next to each other on the on the shelf so very very awesome and it's always nice to receive premiums of slightly older movies um i know it's not too old in the grand scheme of cinema but uh yeah in comparison to a lot of the premium companies that only really do new releases it's uh, it's nice to see nova sort of giving uh, giving love to to movies from a few years ago so that is very very cool close her back up and next up from film arena is thor ragnarok so again i always sing film arena's praises i absolutely love their releases and even though they were a little bit late um getting thor ragnarok out compared to some of the other premium companies um this edition is absolutely beautiful um so it's what what they call one of their hard boxes so it's not quite the maniacs edition which is the big square boxes that come with three editions plus a, a special gift this is what they call one of their hard boxes which is usually this thick outer box and then two slip additions inside for the movie so we have got a lenticular and a full slip again the lenticular is very very cool very colorful um just like the movie itself very bright very shiny which is awesome and then inside it's just got the worldwide art steel book but when they've jazzed it up with such cool artwork on the outside and um, that doesn't really make too much of a difference and then the full slip Similar artwork to what Blue fans used with uh, their transitional lenti, which kept switching between the four characters. But here we've got them all presented in one single image, which again is very cool, very awesome. And the colour scheme of going from orange to yellow to green, it just matches the, the characters in the, uh, the movie perfectly. So one of my favourite Marvel movies. And uh, yeah, I think it's absolutely awesome. So again, same steelbook. We've got um, booklet as well. And in this one, we've got art cards. Um, so yeah, very cool, very cool. And that's probably now going to be the last release for Thor Ragnarok, especially for as far as premiums go. 
Um, so yeah, that is very awesome. And next up, back to Everything Blue from the UK. They finished their planned Cornetto trilogy releases with The World's End. So obviously starting with Shaun of the Dead and then Hot Fuzz um, in these absolutely beautiful sort of faux leather boxes um, with all embossing as well. They look absolutely beautiful. And as a trilogy, having all three next to each other is absolutely awesome. So I'm very, very happy that they were able to make enough sales to actually finish off this and uh, help collectors sort of finish the trilogy, which is absolutely beautiful. So it's similar to Phil Marina's hard box we've just seen for Thor Ragnarok. This also comes with two custom sleeves we've got the full slip which is very cool also for the movie and probably my least favorite of the Cornetto trilogy I'll be honest I've only seen it once um, didn't really have a desire to return to it but now that this has arrived I will give it another go um, so that is awesome the artwork on the back of this I'm not quite sure if the light can pick it up but the uh, the actual sign for the pub itself it looks like the uh, the embossed is all wooden when it shines in the light which is very sweet and the lenticular edition as well which is very cool so these uh these releases again from everything blue are absolutely stunning so i'm very very happy to to pick these up and it's got their own custom steelbook in it as well again the only place you can get this steelbook for the world's end is through these guys they've made this themselves and i love the artwork on the back here of all the pubs that they visit through the movie i think it's absolutely stunning so yeah i'm looking forward to actually giving it another go see if my opinion changes of it but um, after i watched it first time i didn't really have a desire to to sit down and watch it again but um as a trilogy i'm sure watching all three maybe one evening um will change my opinion so what i have done with these because it's part of a set is i, I will show you where i have placed it in the collection and just walk around here so I had to move a few around to fit this one in. So if we just go down aisle three, and what I've done is I've placed them along the top here. You can see Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. And then at World's End, I have just got positioned just like that. So they look absolutely awesome together. So very, very cool, very cool releases. Um, so yeah, very happy to have those in the collection and what I'll do with the two slips you've just seen out of those boxes is on my premium wall I've got the Shaun of the Dead and the Hot Fuzz. I've made two spaces there for a world's end So they will go on there. I'll pop them back in there once I finish the video Okay, so Next up in the premium range is blue fans the incredible hulk so another marvel release like thor ragnarok and um, first time getting um the incredible hulk in 4k as well so yeah very uh, very happy to pick this up and continue the line of blue fans marvel releases so i've got every one so far so yeah not one of my favorite marvel movies it's probably a bit cliche to say that but um yeah that uh for the dark world and um, two of my least favorites um but I absolutely adore the MCU, and in order to continue on the Blue Fans Marvel collection, I had to pick this one up. So the artwork on it is fantastic, though. Some of the Blue Fans releases recently were lacking a bit in quality, and the lenticulars didn't seem as crisp or as sharp as, as previous releases from them. Um, but this has more than made up for it. It's um, yeah, back to back to business as usual for them. The lenticular is absolutely beautiful on it. So there is that one there, and on the back is Abomination. Again, this is the double lenticular edition, which is a very cool and single lenticular edition, which is very nice artwork. I absolutely love this artwork, which is very cool. Very deep as well with all the characters. Each character seems to be positioned on a different layer. So in hand, it looks absolutely beautiful, which is cool. And on the back, again, we've got old Bruce Banner as Hulk. And 
This was my least favorite artwork simply because I'd seen this cover many times before as a sleeve, a uh, slip cover as part of a, a you know, a phase one of the MCU collection you can pick up. So even though they've added their extra flair to it with this embossing and debossing and shiny, like, hollow foil almost um yeah it was my least favorite more so for this back artwork it just felt like it was very photoshopped where they've just positioned the characters heads within the muscles of the hulk so not my favorite um but as part of the one click collection it is uh, still nice to have in the collection and this also came with blue fans custom steelbook now they pretty much for marvel steelbooks they're the best in the business for what they do uh, these steelbooks that they make are absolutely beautiful and the time and effort and the the detail that goes into them is stunning so yeah very very cool so it's nice to have that one in the collection I haven't quite made room for it yet i'm gonna have to sort of shuffle around my marvel section in order to start fitting these ones in um, because as it's growing, as they're releasing more and more movies each year, and these premium companies are going back through the, the back catalogue, back to the earlier titles like The Incredible Hulk, which was only the second one to release in the MCU. And yeah, I'm starting to run out of space. Um, last but not least, though, in the premium section is this very cool edition of Dunkirk um, from the Ultra HD Club. So it is wood. And it's all etched in the wood. On the front here, we've got Tom Hardy's character from the movie. And on the back, we've got a scene where they're climbing up um, after the ship has been destroyed, trying to climb out of the water. Um, so yeah, very, very awesome. You can pick which artwork you want to be displayed. Um, so Ultra HD Club, this is actually the eighth edition. It says here on the on the side. Um, so this is only their second release, though, that has this wooden box, which is all etched. The first one they released was... Um, Forrest Gump. So I'm not going to collect the full range of Ultra HD Club editions, um, although they are very cool. Um, I'm only going to stick with these wooden etched versions now that I've got the, the first two. Um, I'll stick with these because I do think they're something different and something special, which is very cool. doesn't come with a steelbook inside, but it does come with the 4K edition. Um, and also, again, some art cards and a booklet as well. Very similar to a lot of these premium companies. You always get some extra sort of goodies in with them, which is very cool. And the nicest thing about this release was I ordered it through Media Psychos. And the gentleman who helps with the group buys on there, he always provides his hub when they get shipped to him ready for shipping on to their customers and um, he always provides a special little gift and this here he provided so you could only get this through him was this makeshift medal um, which is very very cool so not part of the official release just an extra little thank you from him for ordering through them so yeah he always does little nice touches like that and it is very much appreciated so it's nice to be able to show that off uh, that arrived as part of that premium which is very cool okay so guys i will jump on to tv shows so first tv show that arrived this month was castlevania season one one of the netflix shows and um, i did watch this last year when it was on netflix it was very easy to sort of get through i think it was only like three episodes um but i did enjoy it and this limited edition from zavi um is very awesome comes with the disc inside there and also a photo booklet which is actually printed on real photo paper you could feel the crispness of it while opening up the pages which is very cool showing off artwork from the show um, which is awesome so i'm actually looking forward to giving this another go um, so one afternoon i will put that on and there's the disc inside here as well so that one was from Zavi and very happy that that actually got a release because it's sometimes a bit hit and miss whether or not Netflix shows will get a release or not and um, so very happy that came out and also another Netflix show I watched uh, late last year Lost in Space season one and I absolutely loved it absolutely brilliant so yeah I'm happy to pick this one up as well haven't opened it up yet and had time to sort of give it another spin but uh, very happy to pick up lost in space on blu-ray and um, it did feature in 4k on Netflix so it's a bit of a shame it didn't get a 4k release here but um, still to add it to the collection yeah I'm happy it got a release and last but not least in the TV show range I picked up the Arrowverse latest seasons that I need to get through so season six of Arrow Season 3 of Legends, Season 3 of Supergirl, 
uh, season four of Flash. Um, I'll be perfectly honest, I still enjoy Supergirl and Flash. And Legends, for me, is a bit hit and miss. It does have a bit of a Doctor Who vibe to it, which I do enjoy. And Arrow, unfortunately, I think jumped the shark a long time ago. It's a bit of a chore having to sit through Arrow. But what I do when I get all of four of the seasons, and next year I assume Bat girl bat woman and will be joining joining them and um, i find out a list online of watching the episodes in chronological order so i don't have to sit through all 20 odd episodes of arrow before getting to supergirl i'll watch them in order so i did start these last week and it started with um a couple of episodes of legends and then i believe it was three arrow and then one supergirl and next up i need to watch uh, episode one of flash so i am slowly going to get through them I'm going to try and do one a day just to get through them all because when october rolls around september october the next series will be out and then i'll get too far behind on them so yeah um arrow releases so this month arrow have had a big sale on which was buy one get one free through their online store through hmv and through zavi in the uk so i picked up a selection uh, first up was uh, Takashi Meek's Terraformers. Haven't seen it yet, but I do like the idea of uh, sort of humans having to battle giant humanoid cockroaches. I think it might have a sort of battle royale meets um, um, Starship Troopers vibe to it, hopefully. And plus Takashi Meek, I mean, he's an absolute legend. He pumps out so many movies, and um, a lot of what I've seen of his uh, Itchy the Killer and Audition and. Um, they just all all sort of blow me away when I watch them. So very happy to pick that one up in the buy one, get one free. And also picked up Trapped, or also known as Trapped Alive. Um, watched this the other night, and I had great fun watching this one. Um, yeah, very cool. Very, very slightly dated movie, um, but it was very fun to watch. So um, typical of these Arrow releases when it comes to these old 80s and 90s horror movies. And they're my favourite out of all of the... Arrow releases and this was one I'd never heard of before but I did watch this and uh, watch the special features afterwards and it was nice to hear from the director who started off working at the BBC um, so yeah that was very cool I enjoyed that one and The Annihilators I also watched this one as well which played out a bit like a, a feature length episode of The A-Team so it was uh, it was quite dated but there was a lot of fun to be had watching this and I did enjoy my time with it so yeah The Annihilators was awesome Black Moon Rising haven't seen it yet but it is written i believe by john carpenter so i'm really looking forward to it plus when you've got tommy lee and linda hamilton um yeah i don't think you can go wrong so hopefully that one is very good elvira as well don't own a copy of this so happy to pick up uh, mistress of the dark mega time squad defcon 4 and then Last but not least, I also picked up The Sender as well. So all three of those I haven't seen yet either. So I'm very looking forward to, to watching those ones. So those sort of joined the Arrow collection. Now in Steelbooks, I picked up Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. And with all the hype surrounding Bill and Ted 3 um, that's going on at the moment, it reminded me that I needed to pick up this um, Bogus Journey edition. I do have uh, Shout Factory's um, Excellent Adventure Steelbook, which was kind of blue and purple. Um, but I always sort of, when this came out, it just passed me by. Um, I'm assuming there was probably other things I wanted to get at the time. Um, luckily, I was still able to get this one. It didn't sell out, even though it is limited quantity i think they did make quite a few of them so yeah pick that one up after the hype surrounding number three is going on that reminded me i needed to get that and also picked up steelbook batman versus the turtles uh, this was absolutely awesome i absolutely enjoyed my time with this one um childhood dream coming true watching uh, batman fight shredder it was absolutely brilliant so yeah the turtles themselves especially michelangelo i didn't quite enjoy his voice through the through the show it, uh, it did quite great on me a little bit i didn't think it was like the classic sort of cartoons that we grew up with but on the whole i thought it was a, a fantastic uh, animated movie and one of the better of the the sort of dc range that have come out recently i enjoyed this one a, a hell of a lot so very happy that that one exists also picked up the 4k limited edition steelbook of ghostbusters and ghostbusters 2 absolutely beautiful steelbook um i do already have ghostbusters 1 and 2 in 4k and 
I'll be perfectly honest, I might get a lot of hate for this, I wasn't a big fan of the picture quality. I think it was probably the best we've had so far, um, but I did think it was overly grainy. Um, not that I'm a big hater of film grain, I do enjoy it, but I did find in Ghostbusters 1 it was a little too distracting um, for me. But absolutely brilliant movies, absolutely love them, I've got a Ghostbusters tattoo. And I picked this one up mainly because they'd unearthed some new behind the scenes sort of footage, some new deleted scenes I'd never seen before. And plus, it's absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, very nice to have that one join the Ghostbusters collection. And another Marvel of the uh, of the month. So Black Panther, one of the Zavi Lenticular Steelbooks. They've done the whole series so far, so I'm very happy that they've continued it on. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp is currently on its way through the post. It didn't quite make it in time for the video, so that'll be next month. Um, but yeah, Black Panther has made the trip. And similar to all the other Zavi releases, it came with this lenticular magnet that sits on the front of the steelbook. And it looks like they've used exactly the same artwork that was on the big sleeve edition that Tesco's released, one of the, the last remaining big sleeve Blu-ray editions they did. So it is very cool there. Yeah, awesome. So that will go on the steelbook wall with the rest of my Marvel Zavis. So 4K editions. I picked up Godzilla, Roland Emmerich's Godzilla. This and Independence Day when I was a, a young, I guess, teenager at the start, turned into a teenager. These movies were absolutely... I loved them. I watched them over and over and over. And today I can see why they get such bad reviews, why they get panned. But watching this again after so many years, it has dated, um, but I still had great fun watching it. So, um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Roland Emmerich. I think has just um, done popcorn movies go. I think he's one of the best out there. So I think it's Midway um, that's coming out soon. And then I think he's moving on to Moonfall. I'm looking forward to both of them. Um, King Kong versus Godzilla. So... After going to watch Godzilla 2 King of the Monsters at the cinema, it uh, made me want to start collecting all of the earlier Godzilla movies. Um, so I picked this one up. And I think this was only the third Godzilla movie um, they made. So putting him in with King Kong so early on, um, I'm looking forward to watching this. Um, so not opened yet, but I will watch it pretty soon. Also picked up Escape Room. Um, it was okay. Uh, the ending was a little disappointing and that kind of left a sort of bad taste in my mouth. But um, yeah, as far as um, setups go and scenarios, I thought it was very interesting. Uh, not as gory um, as something like Cube, but had sort of a similar premise. Um, and I've never actually done an escape room before in real life. I do like the idea of them. I think they sound very cool. So watching a movie based on something like that was, was pretty awesome. So I enjoyed the majority of that. Um, unfortunately, King of Thieves, I didn't enjoy. Um, I, I was hoping it was going to be a bit like an Ocean's Eleven, um, sort of very stylish, very clever um, sort of heist movie. I know it's based on true accounts, um, so they couldn't glamorize it too much, but the characters in it, they're all absolutely incredible time served actors you know throughout sort of british um, cinema but there wasn't one likable character in the whole thing i thought they all came across as pretty pretty nasty people so it was hard to root for anyone um so i didn't really enjoy my time with that one unfortunately um i did uh, these characters these actors they did deserve um better from what was was filmed unfortunately um i also got my first two ever severin releases so Severin special label in America. Um, so they did just have a halfway to Black Friday sale. Um, and I did pick up a few from there, which are still on their way. They haven't arrived yet. They should arrive hopefully next week. Um, but these two I picked up from Amazon. Um, so first of all, Escape from Women's Prison, uh, an Italian movie. So this one does come with the American and the Italian version on there. The Italian version is the uncut. I think it's about 11 minutes longer. And also... This one, a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend, um, knew someone who was going to the Texas Frightmare Convention. Um, and what Severin did is release these special edition slipcovers um, for the movie Night Killer, Night Killer um, at the convention as, a, as an exclusive. Um, so I believe in Italy, again, this was branded as Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, even though it has nothing to do with Toby Hopper's original sort of 
video nasty masterpiece um, it was just labeled that way I'm guessing to sell the movie more um, it does happen quite a lot or did during sort of a certain period and it's just fascinating all I can imagine is going to the cinema during that time as a big fan of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre expecting more and then sitting through this which I had absolutely great fun with I thought it was it was very cheesy it was very melodramatic um, it, the history behind the actual movie itself if you you read up about it afterwards uh, after watching it is so interesting really and we could re literally talk about this for for like the next 20 minutes but i won't go into it but it is very interesting and i did enjoy my time with it and i think the artwork is absolutely beautiful so these two several releases are going to be first of many i think i'm going to start trying to collect their label now i do enjoy those ones and next up from america from amazon.com was leprechaun returns um very cheap, um, cheap director sort of DVD sequel. Um, the death scenes in it were actually quite gory. There was a couple in there that um, that were actually a bit stronger than um, than I was expecting. And the main actress in it as well, her acting in it was far better than um, than, than you'd uh, you'd expect from a movie like this. Um, I do have the complete Leprechaun collection um, also on Blu-ray, which obviously didn't feature this new one, so it was nice to get this um, to go along with it. It was only cheap, and you, you do get what you pay for. It wasn't the best sort of horror movie, but for 80 minutes, um, it wasn't too bad. And speaking of Leprechaun, this edition arrived from Germany. This very cool faux leather book box from NSM Records. Um, so this is the Leprechaun collection on Blu-ray. And the detailing in the actual box itself is just beautiful. There's been a few releases like this before from another label. Um, so it looks like NS, NSM Records have continued it on. It's a wooden drawer that comes with a whole bunch of swag. It's got some uh, coasters there, some book uh, posters, and it's a, oh, a gold coin also has just fallen out. Hopefully the leprechaun's not coming after me because his gold's there. And also the media book. Um, now this isn't actually the complete collection. I think it's missing Leprechaun in the Hood 1 and 2, which are as silly as they sound. Um, so it's not actually the complete collection, although the, the cheap Blu-ray release that came out in America a few years ago, that was the complete collection. So as much as this edition has had such a, an awesome sort of release like this, it's not complete. But yeah, very cool still to have in the collection. I think um, it's such an awesome box. Now, also picked up one very, very similar, also from NSM Records, was Ginger Snaps. Now, this is absolutely beautiful. All three media books, so it doesn't have a drawer in it this time like Leprechaun. All three media books are sort of wedged in this, this wooden um, sort of custom shelf. And I think Ginger Snaps is one of the greatest werewolf movies ever made. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, watched this again when it arrived. I actually had a werewolf marathon um, two Saturdays ago. I actually watched these, The Howling 1 and 2, and also um, Dog Soldiers as well. So I actually had a six movie marathon last Saturday, all werewolf based. And 2 and 3 are nothing really to, to write home about. Um, Typically with these sort of trilogies at the time, similar with Underworld and um, From Dust Till Dawn, you've got a direct sequel and then you've got a prequel which is set earlier on. So that's that's the same thing they did with these. Um, but I think, yeah, the first one as a coming of age sort of movie for these teenage girls um, who are different than all the others, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And the slow change as she's becoming a werewolf it's just very cool and the actresses are awesome as well in it so yeah i'm very very happy to upgrade my old dvds to these blu-ray editions they were very nice to watch so i'll pop them back in there so that one was from germany similar to leprechaun pop them there now also from jb hi-fi another marvel captain marvel so Captain Marvel released this uh, this June, so I picked up the 4K edition from JB Hi-Fi. And what they did for the first time releasing a Marvel movie in this old VHS retro style box. So it's not that great, to be honest. Uh, the Steelbook they released um, was probably a better score than picking this one up. Although initially it's very nostalgic, especially from the opening of, or near the opening of the movie where she falls through the blockbuster roof. Um, 
Inside, it is just literally the disc and the spindle. There's no sort of extra artwork to make it look like a video. There's no art cards, anything like that at all. So it does feel quite cheap. Um, and it wasn't cheap for the cost, really, for what you're getting. But it is something novel. Um, so, yeah, happy to have the movie as well. I know it wasn't well received um, amongst sort of the same as other Marvel movies, um, especially coming after sort of Endgame. Uh, sorry, before Endgame, but after Infinity War. Um, but yeah, it wasn't um, wasn't too bad. I did actually quite enjoy it more than some of my friends. So, picked up Captain Marvel, and also go back to Germany is this absolutely massive Suspiria box. So this is the Dario Argento's original and the remake, a 10 disc set. It also comes with the CD soundtracks, uh, posters, art cards, uh, booklet, you name it, it's in here. This is like a complete edition. Everything that has ever been filmed for Suspiria is in this amazing box. Haven't opened it up yet, but I, uh, I wanna spend my time sort of going through everything that's in this and um, having a look at everything that's there and eventually maybe a Saturday night watch one and two I think the second one's maybe on for about three hours so gonna need a bit of time aside to give Suspiria a go but I am looking forward to it I've seen Agento's one twice now in my life so it'll be nice to give it a go with the new one to compare the two um, some people I've heard absolutely adored it some people absolutely hated it so I am going in with an open mind but that is Suspiria which is very awesome and last but not least, I will. Ooh, falling on. I had a friend who picked up some bargain finds in his local cash converters. Um, so he had a 50% off discount voucher, which he used to pick up this awesome wooden boxed version of the, the TV series Miami Inc., which is very cool. And we were talking about the type of movies that I collect, the type of um, DVDs and Blu-rays that I've got in the collection. And two areas that I am very lacking on is Westerns and also Eastern cinema, martial arts movies. So he went on an absolute bender and picked up all of these for a dollar each for me and sent them to me just to broaden my collection with all of these which is absolutely stunning. I have no idea when I'm going to find the time to actually get through all these. And I know so little about sort of this aspect of movies um, other than sort of the mainstream ones like Hero and Crouching Tiger, uh, House of Flying Daggers, um, Tony Jar as well um, in Ong Bak. Um, but other than that, a lot of these I have never even heard of. I wouldn't know the actors or the directors. Um, a few, obviously, like I think Hand of Death is a John Woo movie and it's got Jackie Chan in it. A few of these have Jet Li in it. But um, yeah, I am really, really looking forward to when I have time to actually start experiencing some of these movies. Um, some of these um, actual labels as well, Hong Kong Legends and East and I, they're very popular here in Australia and they have done a lot of releases. So... Yeah, very, very happy that he managed to track down all of these just to broaden my uh, my sort of type of movies that I've got in this room that I can say are in my collection. So very, very cool. Now, last but not least, guys, there was a lot of German bust Blu-ray editions that have arrived this month. So these are the boxes for them. We've got Plans to the Apes trilogy, the, the new trilogy. We've got the Alien Legacy, Shoot Fighter 1 and 2, and we've got this Bruce Lee collection. So these two here, Shoot Fighter and Bruce Lee, they did come with media books, which I have got just here. So the Bruce Lee collection, uh, four of his most popular movies on Blu-ray. Now we've got Way of the Dragon, uh, Way of the Fist, I believe, Big Boss, and... Fist of Fury. So we've got four of Bruce Lee's popular movies. Enter the Dragons, not in there. But yeah, very, very cool media book. And that came with this bust edition of Bruce Lee, which I have placed up on the top here. So the disc just slot in the back. And then around here is, let's see if I can just turn the light on on the camera very cool Bruce Lee bust there 
in one of his classic action stances. So that bust edition is absolutely beautiful and it's so heavy as well. So I've had to put it on top of one of these glass cabinets. Um, so that is very awesome. And then Shoot Fighter, which is one of Nameless Media's earliest busts. Um, that came with this media book as well, which I have placed just along the back of the room down here. Oh, Bolo Young. So I've just placed it up here next to Dolph Lundgren's Silent Trigger and also the Expendables, um, Sylvester Stallone. So there it is there, Shoot Fighter Bust, which is very cool. And again, the media book slots into which I've got to, two hands just slots into the back there which is very awesome turned it into a, a proper blu-ray box set so yeah that is a very awesome so that is shoot fighter one and two two movies i've never seen but um, looking forward to watching them there's that wrong turn bus that arrived a couple of months ago i've popped that up on the top there and then we also received this very cool alien legacy edition this egg from germany so we've got the face hugger there sort of inside the egg which is awesome so this has gone in my alien and predator cabinet and if i open up the glass cabinet if we spin around it's very 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 heavy so heavy in fact i can't even spin it there we go the disc again slot in the base so i always prefer it when these bust editions come where you can actually put the discs in the base it turns it into a proper box set instead of just a a model that's in addition to the the blu-ray so very happy to see that you can actually put the discs inside it so they've actually planned it to make it like a proper proper box and it's uh, yeah it's very cool um the face hugger the detail on the face hugger is absolutely beautiful really shiny and it's awesome the egg might be lacking a little bit in detail it looks a little bit too glossy but on the whole um, i'm so happy that something like that exists especially to have it in with the alien collection um, and i think it's a lot better than this earlier alien egg that um, that released a few years ago so almost last but not least is the planet of the apes collection which is very unusual very different here we've got caesar riding the horse which is in the snow and then that is so heavy and it couldn't quite fit in the glass counter so i've had to put it up at the top there um is just go down here it's just gonna get a bit dark here's the discs again sit in the back which is very cool horses bump um yes yeah, so that's uh, that's very cool so i've popped that over this side next to these other planet of the apes editions that i've got and then last but not least guys the uh, the big one that arrived in june uh, i've already done a video of this so um i won't i won't go on too much about it at the moment but uh, yeah those who saw my video will know how excited and how amazing it was to receive the Sons of Anarchy gas tank edition, only 15 in the world. So that one again was about two millimeters too big to actually fit inside one of the glass cabinets. So it's gone on top, pride of place. So, and it is absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. So it is, uh, as soon as you walk into the room, it's pretty much on view. And then when I'm sitting down watching a movie, it's right in view. So it's basically prime real estate. It's probably the most popular spot in the entire room for, for a sort of eye viewing. And uh, yeah, every time I look at it, I still can't believe that I've actually got one in the collection. So very, very, very happy that that one has arrived and has taken pride of place so guys i think that is everything that has arrived this um this month 
or last month now. Um, thanks again for watching, and if you have any questions or you'd like to know any more information, um, yeah, please don't hesitate to send me a message. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Bye.